the channel into the port of Baltimore is set to be fully open soon. Crews are working to pick up the last pieces of steel from the Patapsco River. It's been a big job and yeah. with cleanup almost complete, McKenzie state officials are now turning their attention toward construction of a new bridge. Fox 25's Jessica Babb shows us what the future of the key bridge could look like. Jessica. Officials with the Army Corps of Engineers say they plan to have the channel fully reopened in the next few days. It could happen tomorrow or it could happen on Monday. It just depends when they get that last bit of steel lifted from the water. But go ahead and take a look. This is the view from Fort Armstead. Right now, crews are doing surveys to make sure there's nothing left behind. And residents we talked with say with this exciting step, they're looking ahead to what's next. Looking out to where the key bridge once was, you can see the last of this steel dangling above the water. Right now and throughout the weekend, we're going to be removing the last pieces of debris and wreckage. These photos taken Friday, showing Gus the grabber lifting another large piece of steel from the river. Colonel S.T. Pinchasen with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says they're continuing to survey the area. It's about getting leaving no steel on the bottom. Meaning the full 700 foot wide and 50 foot deep channel will soon be fully reopened. The cleanup will be officially done. The Maryland Transportation Authority is now looking toward rebuilding the bridge. A company called WeBuild says they're submitting this proposal, allowing for bigger ships to pass through and more lanes of traffic. So bringing out the Fox 45 soapbox, we went to downtown Dundalk to see what residents had to say. Oh, I think it's fantastic. I think it's great for the Port of Baltimore because they need to go back to work. For some, like Sarah Kohler. Oh, yes, because my husband is a port worker. Or yeah. Brian Threat. So I was just hoping to be on the project to reconstruct, you know, be part of that project. A new bridge is a project full of promise. I can have my kids say, hey, my dad helped build the key bridge. What do you want to see in the new key bridge? Uh, more lights. Stability. <laughs> A lot of stability. You gotta get on the box too, John. Residents stepping up, sharing plenty of thoughts. Like Better construction, uh, more lights. And a little wider. Want to make another lane. <laughs> Brighten up that area. Hey, welcome to Baltimore. If you're a boat coming in, welcome to Baltimore. That, you know, just something to really liven up the city. Bringing a fresh take on a symbol of Baltimore. What does the key bridge mean to you? Wow, hmm, that, that is a wild question. Key bridge means to me, uh, it, it's a symbol. You know, it's a symbol, Star Spangled Banner, you know, something that, hey, it's still standing. You know, sometimes we do fall, but hey, we rebuild. Colonel Ben Chasen says sometime in the next coming weeks, they will have to come back through and get any debris that's under the mud line. And as for rebuilding the bridge, the team will be selected later this summer and proposals will be due at the end of this month. And there will be a virtual community meeting on Tuesday with updates. Live at Fort Armstead Park, Jessica Babb, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.